This is what I like about it. This is what I like about a hammock. This is awesome. You shouldn't really hook. Like if I'm going to lean out there. It won't fall out. I'll get out of there, mosquito. This is so cool. It's so relaxing. Plus, I like the quick setup. Oh yeah, quick setup. You like, you like, you can't even hear me. Cause I'm not talking about it. Trying to be quiet because there's another camper, hiker, or camper down there somewhere. Now, in this hammock, you're supposed to lay diagonal, not uh, not like a banana. That's one thing I'm supposed to. I don't think you can see that. There you go. I'm a little closer now. There you go. So usually I'll do this up. I mean the mosquitoes are out, but, but at night. Oh man. Oh yeah, I got up. I don't want to get mosquitoes in. There's a lot of a lot of freaking caterpillars around. It's crazy. Scratch your head. Oh, no. oh, this is awesome. The one thing is, is my bag is, is on the tree, so that's why I have all these uh, little things hanging in here. You know, I've got my phone, light, how you can see that, you know. That's her, that's cool. You just gotta watch it when you're getting in and out of this. You, you, you'll bump your head on stuff, that's all. But other than that, I want you just little baggies on here for stuff, but yeah, it's pretty cool. So warm, so hot, and there's no breeze up here either. There's no breeze anywhere. And I'm on this great big hill. Man. So Mosquito. I don't usually ever leave the zipper open like this, so I don't want to put mosquitoes in here. Because usually at night, then I'm trying to kill them to get them out. I'm trying to catch them and catch and release. Catch and release them because I don't want to smear all the... Squash them in here on the netting. Oh, it's just a mess. It's just a mess. i to do this so you can see me. And I should hook a par paracord to the other zipper, which I never done yet. Because right now, this one's easy to grab. Well, the other one, the other one, it's way down there, so I have to get up, and and I'm, I'm kind of fighting to grab it. Like it's past my feet already, and I can't like. But you got to kind of have it undone to get in here. You can't have this done up too much, or you're putting pressure on top of the your, your net and. way to put that in that. Oh. 
so I should have a nap since I'm here. Just a 20 minute nap. I only have a five, I only had a five minute nap. I'm thinking about doing a different thing. Uh, maybe like have a, like it's called a hammock, the hammock chat. Well, I'm just laying here chatting. And without mosquitoes, so, oh, this is the only way you're going to see it. Because if I do this, you can't see me. I don't lay on that. So, uh, it's not comfortable. I don't know if that's comfortable. Is that comfortable? That's not bad. I could do that. Yeah, so what can we do? The hammock chat. So YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, let's talk about YouTube. So what other channels do you watch on YouTube besides outdoor channels? There has to be other ones, right? So... Some of the main ones, I, I watch a lot of backpacking and camping channels, a lot, a lot, a lot of them. And then the other one is the minimalist channel, so how to become a minimalist, live with less. I try to apply that to my camping stuff, like very little stuff. So like I don't have 14 different hammocks, I don't have, you know, 20 different tents, I just, I would never use them all. And there's so many out there, there's so many, like, there's just so many different styles and, and lightweight stuff. It's, it's you can get addicted to it, eh? Well, camping gear. Well, and another thing I watch, another cool, very cool thing is uh, uh, van life. Call it van life. Uh, people living in vans. Uh, they're converting their vans or living in them. Or same, same as a motorhome or a trailer. You can buy the smaller ones. Those are the class B's, I believe. I've been looking at looking at those. Uh, yeah, so. You can, they're, they're so expensive though. Like, even to get a four season one with a sink in it, you know, a toilet, if you want that, or a shower, some have them, some don't, your bed. So, what people are doing now, they're more or less just buying a buying a used van or a used one, and they're, they're just gutting it and they're just making their own stuff. So, yeah, if you want to check, check some of that stuff out, that's pretty cool. So, what that allows them to do, they're living in the van. There, some of them are working full time, some are, some of them are working on the road, and they just get to travel. So they travel all over. You know, they're through the states, they're through Canada. There's, I, I'm watching several people uh, that are actually Canadian that are traveling back and forth in Canada. They're traveling down the states. I'm watching some Americans. They're coming up here. It's really cool, and it's, it's their full time. They, some of them said they'll do it as long as they can. Pretty cool, eh? So some of them have sold their house. If they had a house, they've sold it. They just, and some of them got those bigger, bigger ones. But after all the research I've done, now it did, now this depends. So depends if you have a family. Some of them are doing it with family, so that's a little different. You know, you know, you got a couple there, and you three or four kids, and a couple dogs and cats and animals. So you're going to need a bigger one, maybe. But some people do it just with with a small van, and then some people are doing it by themselves. There's a lot of a lot of young women out there doing it. It's pretty cool. Uh, a lot of guys, and and a lot of couple doing it now. Mosquitoes, man. Yeah, so it's, it's pretty interesting watching it. You're, they're always, uh, you know, tips and tricks, and everyone has their own tips and tricks, eh? How they installed their their uh, solar system on it, and it's pretty cool to watch. So pretty interesting, eh? But I, I, I could get into that because that'd be cool. Because I, because I'm more, I find a lot of them, the ones I'm watching on the van life. They're they're uh, leaving a, a full size house and they're trying to move everything into, from that house into their van, and it, it just doesn't work. You you gotta you gotta be you gotta be a minimalist first, and if, if not, they're they're finding one real they're finding a way real quick to get rid of their stuff. They and sometimes when I'm watching them on the and I usually don't comment too much. I just say hey, I mean that's awesome because what they're doing is cool. Because minimalist is a is a different thing. It, it takes a long time to get you know to be able to just chuck stuff out like get rid of stuff so like me i live only with only what i need now <laughs> I, I so last week all i've been doing because it was raining and i was off because i'm on holidays so all i've been doing is getting rid of more stuff so i actually put a great big dent and again like i don't have a lot of stuff already so i really downsized again and it just gets easier as you do it eh? and i thought and i almost went to buy more stuff to store stuff in which 
be careful when you go to buy something to store stuff. You got to look at it. What are you storing in that, and are you going to use it? Like, I just got rid of a bunch of other stuff again. It is great. I just love it. Right now, I, I've, I've kind of went through everything again. I can't get rid of nothing else now. I'm right down to nothing pretty well. So that's good. That's good for me. So I, so for me, converting to a van, if I was going to van life right now, I'd have no problem. There's a few other things I have to get rid of, but that'd be simple. And, you know, I could just slide right in there. Because I look at it as camping. Because I use, I, can, I know how long I can go out here for very little stuff, so van life would be nothing. It'd be, it'd be like a tree <laughs> van life because you have, you have water on board all the time, like a bigger jug, like you're not, but even with that, I can filter water from a stream or a lake. Because some of these people are, are uh, van life, they're uh, either camping in the city, they're just parked anywhere on the street, and they're moving around, or they're going to a campground. Or they're called, it's called boondocking, where they're just uh, out in the middle of nowhere, not paying, and just, and they like to go off grid. See, there's, that's what I'm more or less in, in the going off grid, you know, get a proper solar system and do that. That'd be cool. Not only that, the best thing about uh, van life in my situation, you can throw your camping gear. Like, I got to make sure I can take my camping gear. So I would go to other parks and park that and then go into hike and camp. And see all different areas and come back out, hike and camp in all these parks. That would be my... That way you're not driving from point A to point B. You kill so much time. Then when you come back, you're, you're, you're coming back to your house, actually. So even though you went out in the woods and camped, you're coming back to live in your house. you got everything right there where you need it, eh? Pretty well. But yeah. So van life's pretty cool. But I, I would suggest anyone look up Mimolus. Live in the Mimolus lifestyle. Man, those freaking chipmunks sound like a great big giant animal out here. Yeah, so that's pretty cool van life. Love it. Love to do that. It's not for everybody, though. Like, even the minimalist thing isn't. That's... Yeah, pretty cool, though. Here's stuff behind me. Oh. This is so comfy. See, I would do van life. Park the van, they go put the hammock out right there. You like, you just hang out in the hammock, sleep in the hammock, close the van up. I could do it, it could be done. Oh yeah, he's getting back to that uh, van life there. Yeah, where uh, couples do it, single guys do it. Now, me, I'm single. So, for me to move into a van would be nothing. If you had to move somebody in there with it, you kind of both have to be on the same page on that. And that's where I watch a lot of these people where, where they actually they decide to go in. And it works fine because cause van life is such a confined space. It's uh, You're talking... You're talking living in a van so some people just use it to you know they're, they're cooking in it they got their stuff in there they're sleeping there because their bed's there then they're out he goes some of them like get out and do a lot of outdoor stuff so they're always out out in nature out in the, out they're out so but to move around two people in there and you'll hear some of them where they talk where that's it gets quite tight but yeah for me now i'm single so it, i would have no issue Maybe just me in the van. But just thinking, even a van, like, even to bring, like, you, both of you just have to be on that whole minimalist thing right at the get-go because you you got your stuff here in there. And if you had someone else to bring their stuff. So if you both aren't on that whole, now some stuff you can use together, like a kettle or something or the stove and, and dishes, you only need one of each pretty well, whatever you need. But then it's the clothes, the clothes and, you know, Everyone has different different needs of stuff. It's it's crazy. It's like 
Yeah. But it could be done. It could be done. It is being done. I watch people do it all the time. It's crazy. It is nuts. The only the only challenge is, is in the winter. So it's, a lot of them have difficult in the winter. They because of the they'll have a buddy heater or some kind of a heating system. Some of them put wood stoves in. Uh, they're called uh, tiny tiny wood stoves for tiny houses. They'll put those in. I see some of them will cut a hole in the roof and modify that, and they'll live in it all all winter. Now that's crazy. But then again, I do winter camping. So for me, that's nothing. Where I'm out in the elements all the time, where they got a shelter around them with a wood stove in there. So to me, that's luxury. <laughs> so, so me from coming from backpacking into that would be, I would have no problem with that. I'm inside a shelter without it covered, without no wind. Just that alone. With my down sleeping bag or something, I'd be fine. It is crazy. Like, I notice a lot of people. I watch van life, and a lot of people have a lot of stuff in there. I don't think they need it all. Like, they they just jam their van full of stuff. It's like, like some of it's organized. Some of the people are dead on. They just got they got every place. But then some of them open up a drawer, and they got so many dishes and stuff. It's like, what do you, what are you doing? You're by yourself. So when you're by yourself, you don't need. 14 plates and 14 or like or, or six or seven pots I know some people like to cook though they said and well, that, that's fine but still you, you can still get some rid of some of that stuff someone's just thrown in there in a drawer I was like no I couldn't do that I'm, I'm too organized I can't get that bug get the giant bug on my hand yeah I'm too organized for that so so that's kind of yeah. I'm just rambling on again Hammock chat number one. Maybe that's it. Hammock chat. The hammock chat. That'd be that's different. It's like Kevin Collins, uh, Ka Kevin Collins, uh, fireside chat. He does fireside chats. I do hammock chats. And then. And then I watch uh, another one. I watch a lot of uh, uh, Tammy. I believe her name's Tammy in uh, Colorado. Colorado. Uh, that's called uh, Spirit Forest. She camps out in her uh, on her property that she's purchased, which is pretty cool. I like watching her channels. They're awesome. She has these little talks all the time, which is pretty cool. She'll be inside with her little her canvas tent that she has set up. That's pretty neat. She'll do these uh, talks. Really enjoy those. Just talking. So I kind of, kind of follow her quite a bit. Like I learn, I learn from anybody. I don't care who it is. You have some kind of a tip. I'll take the tip. And right now, the only tip I'm doing is, is lightening that load. I was like, like right there. I came out here, and you know. An axe has a purpose. But when you're backpacking, man, now if I was portaging, if I was canoeing, that'd be totally different. I could carry more stuff. Me carrying that and then carry a big barrel with the food in it, pff, I'd be laughing. But when you're on foot by backpacking, man, oh, the weight in that, like portage is, is a short little distance this whole time. That's nothing. But hiking, like hiking in here with all that, oh no. And even when I eat all that food, well, even if I do eat all that food, that food didn't weigh that much. Well, I think there were seven pounds. I don't know. Because usually I like it when I come in, I eat food, and I drink my water. And it's like, oh, yeah. So when I go back out, I have less weight to carry. And sometimes I can tell. But this one here, I don't think I'm going to be able to tell. And when I pulled stuff out, I don't know what's... There's something in that pack that's still heavy. I don't know. I carry an extra tarp in there, too. There's always stuff I carry that's what if, eh? It's a what if. I have a larger tarp. Do I need it? Likely not. I survived without it. I thought, well, no, I gotta have it just in case. It's got, I call it my winter tarp or, or my rain tarp. So if it was pouring down rain out here, I've learned that. But I've learned all. So I, if it was pouring down rain, I wouldn't have put this tarp up because this is a smaller tarp. I would have put the other one up, and it, it would cover more of an area. So then I could camp out right underneath my. Right underneath my hammock, so everything would be laying underneath it. I'd be sitting right here, and 
be cooking with my little stove, everything, because everything else would be wet. So there is advantages to it, and it's lightweight, but like everything adds up, right? Everything adds up. But everyone's camping, everyone camps different, eh? Some people carry more, some people carry less. I don't know. But this is what I use all my vacation time for, right here. Camping. Outdoor stuff. Love it. Oh, love it. This is great. So tomorrow, yeah, I won't do it tonight. Yeah, so tomorrow, if I could go up there to the other uh, lake and we'll do some fishing, see if I can catch anything. It'll be catch and release because I'm not cooking nothing, I'm not skinning nothing or cleaning nothing. Because I know there is bass up in there that I've seen, but bass season isn't until the end of the week, so I can't catch that. And I don't have any like stuff, flour or something to in a frying pan to cook them up. I'd have to do it in a stick, and I don't want to do that. Although I would love to have fish right now. That'd be so good. I could eat fish right now. Just rambling on, rambling. Well, we'll check in again later. Later.